this is Ms. Moffat from Across the Liver. I've noticed this favorite series cropping up on a number of booktube channels and I've decided to throw down and join the fray. While I do love reading and I do enjoy talking about books, I also partake of other media, which may seem shocking, I know, and I wanted to share my extracurricular tastes with you too. And who knows, we might have similar tastes and you might be able to share some sweet recommendations too. So let us begin. <laughs> One word. Kingsman. I've added becoming a Kingsman to my bucket list after watching the movie and I regret nothing. I love spy movies and I've already watched the trailer for the new James Bond flick Spectre about a million times by now. And Kingsman takes all those familiar spy tropes and shakes them up into an engaging, at times visceral, and entirely entertaining new flick. I managed to lure two of my friends there with the promise of Colin Firth in a well-tailored suit. You're both welcome, by the way. And I was thrilled that they loved it. Kingsman is based on the comic book series The Secret Service by Mark Miller, so if you enjoyed the kick-ass franchise, then you need to leave your house right now and go watch Kingsman. <laughs> I'm currently locked into all things Winchester thanks to season 10 of Supernatural. As I film this, we're about six episodes shy of being utterly destroyed and emotionally scarred by the season finale, so be prepared to deal with a lot of weepy Supernatural fans in the near future. I also finally finished Gallivant, and I'm telling you now, watch it. It's eight episodes full of unexpected sass, Disney-esque singing, a bevy of surprise special guest appearances that will make you wish that your life were a musical too. I don't want to give too much away or spoil anything for you. Just trust your moffat. I think I watch more anime than I do live action shows, which makes narrowing this category down very difficult. Well, to be fair, I've been holding off on watching new shows for the past three weeks because I know the spring season is starting soon and there's about 10 shows that I want to check out. Anime coma, here I come. Though I will opt for Shirobako as my favorite series this month. Shirobako explores the lives of five high school friends who all vow to take the anime world by storm. Funny enough, while anime sometimes gets a bad rap in North America, Shirobako actually passes the Bechdel test with flying colors. The Bechdel Test was created by American cartoonist Alison Bechdel and it has three core requirements. To pass the test, a work of fiction must have at least two women in it who talk to each other about something other than a man. In Shiro Bako, you have five young women who are at a pivotal age where they're trying to decide what they want to do with their lives and what they want to accomplish in the anime industry. And they consistently turn to one another and to other prominent women in the field in order to work out their personal and professional issues. They do have male mentors as well, I don't want to downplay that point, but it's representation of of women is diverse and true to real life too. So anime for the win, you guys. <laughs> I pre-ordered AWOL Nation's latest album, Run, and I've been listening to it non-stop. I've even been bringing my headphones and my iPod to work so I can listen to it while I'm sorting books. His vocals have gotten a lot softer on this album, and he's doing a lot more singing rather than his trademark screaming. I do like the screaming, but he's got a softer side to his voice that he showcases nicely here, particularly on tracks like Jailbreak and Headrest for My Soul. Also, Anna Calvi. She reminds me so much of PJ Harvey, and that is a good thing. I've been obsessed with her song Blackout lately, and I'll leave a link to it below too. I'm such a sucker for a lady who's got swagger like hers. I'm a book blogger, of course books are going to be featured here. I'm planning on filming a March wrap-up video so I won't go into depth here, but I actually had a dire month of reading. My highest rating was the three stars, so I'm hoping April will turn things around for me. On a positive note, I read my first Supernatural book spin-off, proving once again that I am a lovable nerd. So that's a wrap on my March favorites, and please feel free to leave some of your favorites in the comments below because I'm in the mood to find some new treats in April. On that note, signing off. <laughs>